Emicizumab was the first non-factor therapy approved in the United States, and it, it had a huge impact on how we approach treatment of patients. Um, one, because it could be used in individuals with hemophilia A with and without inhibitors, um, and that was a big deal, particularly with individuals with hemophilia A with inhibitors, because they really had no options for sort of several decades in terms of alternatives for bleeding prevention. So I think that was a, a big um, game changer in the field because it allowed them to have an alternative option that was effective and also that was safe. Um, and also continued to address frequency of administration and allowed for a subcutaneous option. Um, and even in individuals with hemophilia A without inhibitors, it allowed them an alternative option to where they didn't have to do IV infusions. I mean, you still had um, improved protection from bleeding. And so it really changed the landscape of how we think about treatments for, for hemophilia A. Um, and, and I think it, um, also allowed us to think differently about um, just kind of how do we approach kind of your new child who's been diagnosed, kind of your child who's been on factor therapy before, adult patients, I think it's provided a lot of freedom. So it's really changed how we approach hemophilia and, and bleeding management.